Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Rafael. Hello, Rafael, can you hear me? Permítame. Okay. Dígame, teacher. No, oh, how are you? Uh, hi, hi, teacher. I casi, casi right. fin, uh, finish uh, the platform for the last You're almost part of the, the final exam. Okay, that's great. Awesome. Yes. Today, uh, and I finish the, the platform for. You will do it today, okay? Sounds nice. Okay. And how was your day, Rafael? Uh, uh, fine um, and very, very good work. Um, okay. Mm -hmm. He completed the what the plan for. Okay, uh -huh. that's good. What do you do, Rafael? Uh, I I finish the 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 dinner. Oh, you just uh, finished your uh, dinner. Okay. Uh -huh. uh, uh, working I finish the, the, the working okay sounds nice uh -huh. yes uh, so what this this, this what? Thursday is is finish finish the class the, this Thursday yes we'll finish on Thursday uh, okay the, la the last the last class of the year, right? Exactly, that's right. Uh, okay. Yeah, we're almost done. Okay. So what do you think about the pre-intermediate two course? Was it easy, difficult, so so? What can you tell me? Uh, I, uh, the course, the course. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. uh, for me, uh, I learned very, very much. Okay, sounds uh -huh. nice. Yes. Uh, for me, you're your excellent teacher. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> That's very nice of you, thanks. <laughs> yes, the, 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 the excellent teacher and imperial teacher. <laughs> oh, thanks. <laughs> Thank you, Rafael. <laughs> How are you, teacher? I'm doing well. Yeah, just fine. I can't wait to finish with all the work as well. <laughs> ah, okay. You know, we no, need vacation, how, right? <laughs> how, how old are you? I'm 27. Ah, okay. Yeah. E menor. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Thir 13. Oh, you're 30. Okay. 30, 30. Yes. All right. Where, where, the, where the place you, you learn English? Oh, I learned English at the university. I am from Santa Ana. So um, I studied here in a university called Unicaes. Ah, okay. Yeah. In, in idioma. Yeah, I'm licenciada en ciencias de la educación, especialidad de inglés. That's my meaning. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. 
¿Qué entrevista de trabajo? Dígame. Inter... No problem. Work, inter... Work interview, eh, vea. No. Uh, yeah, a job interview. Ajá. Cabal. Solo me faltó. Híjole. The, be, the best question. The last question. I can, I, I can, I can, I can question. Come on, Rafael. Good evening, Stephanie. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Fine. Great. How was your day? Uh, my day, uh, a little good. Okay. Yes. All right. What and did you do? Here. It was fine. Okay. It was good. So what did you do today? Uh, today I stayed at home. Okay. I cleaned my house and practice the English class. All right, that's nice. And you're done with the platform, right? Yes. Okay, great. Did you get your certificate? Yes, I get my certificate. Excellent. That's nice. Okay. So what do you think about the topic we're studying, Stephanie? How do you find it? Yes, Is... I, I remember in this, in this last, eh, que, o sea, en el, en el, en el grupo que estaba antes, me acordé de que ya, ya había visto este tema. Oh, okay, you Is have it... already studied. Yes. Solo que esos verbos sí me cuestan más los de fast participle, es verdad. Yeah, we need to practice a little more. Yes. Okay, that's nice. Good evening, Hector. Oh. Hello, Hector. Good, e Good evening. How are you? Fine. Great. How was your day? Uh, busy, <laughs> always. Busy. Yeah, All days I'm well. busy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And were you able to finish with the final exam, Hector? Yes. You're done. Yeah, but uh, mm -hmm. uh, on section four, I didn't finish the Oh, uh, the 4.6 because uh, the, and the question said that they are nice, beautiful, and very tall. Mm -hmm. uh, I put uh, what does she look like? Uh, I don't know is that correct? Um, you say that the answer is they look or they are, what is it? Let me get it. They are nice, beautiful, and very tall. Yes, yeah, so the subject is they. Therefore, you need to use, um, let's see, it's number here, number nine. Ah, nice, okay. beautiful, what the, and very tall. What, so okay, you, uh, but uh, what there are is they a, like, or what do they look like? What do? Both. What do they look like? Just remember that here we need to use they because the answer goes with they. So yeah, they yeah, I, 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 the same way. Okay. And I have other two. And my sister's hair is medium length. Over so here. I, yeah, so I, I, I put how long is my sister's hair? Oh. Okay, you just need to change it to your sister's hair. How long is your sister's hair? 
Because remember that we have uh, over ah, there okay. like you and me and so on, right? So they are related. Any other question, Hector? Yeah, I have the last one. Okay. Uh, Sharon has brown hair. So I thought that what color is Sharon hair? Or I must put what color is her hair? No, the first one is fine. What color is Sharon's hair? That would be the Because uh, the platform say that was incorrect. Um, well, actually, if you can see here in my, in my screen, and um, that's what okay. I got. It's just maybe because of the apostrophe. Just remember that over here we take ah, okay. Sharon's, right? What color okay. is Sharon's hair? Okay. Okay. That's all. That's all. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. So. You're welcome. Good evening, Sergio. Okay. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Uh, I am well, thank you. Great, I'm doing pre pretty well too. Thanks for asking. And uh, how was your day? Uh, was uh, busy. Busy, okay. Yes. And tell me about the platform. Have you finished? Yes, today I finished the platform. Right. I complete the 100% teacher, 100%. Percent. All yes. right, that's nice, congratulations. Thank you, teacher. Good evening, Mauricio. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Fine, fine. All right, it sounds good. How was yeah. your day? Yeah, a lot of work, but I survived. <laughs> okay. And tell me about the platform. Have you finished with all the work over there? Yes, the, the last weekend I finished the platform. You're done. Okay. Oh, it's okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Excellent. Thanks. Okay. I think we may start with our class. Let's see. First of all, we'll go to the platform and we're going to remember about the use of the present perfect that we studied yesterday. So let's see what we got. Okay, I need you to pay attention to the video. Hi, in this lesson, we will study present perfect with already and yet. Ask and answer questions in present perfect with irregular and regular past participles. I want you to concentrate on this new tense. Notice how it is formed. Pay close attention to the words already and yet. Present perfect. Already, yet. The present perfect is formed with the verb have plus the past participle. Have you been to a jazz club? Yes, I've been to several. No, I haven't been to one. Has she ridden in a streetcar? Yes, she's ridden in one. No, she hasn't ridden in one. Has he called home lately? Yes, he's called twice this week. No, he hasn't called in months. Have they eaten dinner yet? Yes, they've already eaten. No, they haven't eaten yet. Contractions I've equals I have. You've equals you have. He's equals he has. She's equals she has. It's equals it has. We've equals we have. They've equals they have. Haven't equals have not. Hasn't 
equals has not. Okay, let's just practice the pronunciation for the contracted forms. So please repeat, I've. 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 I have. I have. I have. I have. You've. You. You have. You have. You have. His. His. He has. He has. She's. She has. She has. It's. It's. It has. It has. It has. We've. 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 We have. We have. We have. They've. They have. They have. Haven't. 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 Have not. Have not. Hasn't. Hasn't. Has not. Has not. Okay, let's continue. Hasn't equals has not. For present perfect, we will use have or has plus past participle verb plus complement. The verb have or has will depend on the person we will talk about. We use present perfect when we want to express actions which began in the past and continue in the present. Example, she has worked in the bank for five years. We have had the same car for 10 years. Okay, so the first use for the present perfect is that we use it when we want to express actions which began in the past and continue in the present. For example, she has worked in the bank for five years. That means that she started working in the bank five years ago, but she's still there. She still works in the bank. So it would be something that began in the past, but continues in the present. The same happens in the, in the second example. We have had the same car for 10 years and we still have it. The car for 10 years. When we want to make reference to an unfinished temporary period of time, I have worked hard this week. It has rained a lot this year. We haven't seen her today. Repeated. The second use that we have for the present perfect is when we're talking about unfinished temporary periods of time. For example, whenever we refer to this week, that means that the week is still going on. It hasn't finished. Therefore, we, if we want to express something that has happened this week, then we need to use the present perfect. That's in the example, I have worked hard this week. Same happens to this year. It has rained a lot this year. And also if we refer to today, as the day is not over yet, we would use the present perfect by saying we haven't seen her today, for instance. Actions in a specific period of time between the present and the past. They have seen that film six times. We have eaten all that restaurant many times. We also use the present perfect for talking about repeated actions in a specific period of time between the present and the past. So we could, we could mention some examples like they have seen that film six times. We are not really mentioning um, when that happened or what specific times um, that person watched the, or those people watch the film. But we just, we're just interested in saying that they have done that six times in the past, right? And maybe they would uh, watch that movie or that film once again. So that is why we refer to it by using the present perfect. Then we have another example which says we have eaten at that restaurant many times. We do not even count the times it has happened. We only mention it many times. When timing is not relevant or it is unknown, 
Someone has eaten my soup. Another use for the present perfect would be when the timing is not relevant or is unknown. So um, we have an example. It says, someone has eaten my soup. I am not mentioning a, um, a specific time when that happened. Or for example, if we mentioned yesterday, then we would need to refer to the actions or to the things that happened at that specific time using the simple past because yesterday is over. But in this case, I am not mentioning any specific time. The time remains unknown. Therefore, I use the present perfect. Okay, so now remember that yesterday we were making some sentences. We are going to check them. So here I got them. Let me get this. Number one is I ride a motorcycle. How would it be in the present perfect? I have ridden a motorcycle. Okay, so we say I have ridden a motorcycle. Ridden with double D. And then we got motorcycle. I have ridden a motorcycle or also remember that here we could use the contracted form I've. I've ridden a motorcycle. Five. Oh, we just missed number one. Teacher. Hi. Teacher, I have a question. Tell me. Eh, Se puede escribir también I have I have, I have rolled a no. motorcycle. No, remember that we use the past participle that will be written. Road would be the, the simple past. So uh, that will okay. be incorrect. If you put road, always. it will be incorrect. Always. You always use always, the past teacher. participle. Oh, okay. 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 Let's just go back to number one because we didn't do it. It is we miss a train. Can you make it, please? We have missed the train. We have missed, we have the, missed train. the train. That's right. Next one. He win the lottery. What's the sentence? He's won. He's won the lottery. He's won the lottery. Number four, a plane crash in Russia. A plane, plane crash crashed in Russia. In Russia. In Russia. A plane Russia. has crashed in Russia. Repeat, please. Russia. 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 Okay. Next one goes like they fly in a hot air balloon. They flown in a hot air balloon. They have oh. flown in a hot air balloon. You know, global aerostatic. Yes, that's right. Number six, she break a world record. She's broken She's a world broken. record. Broken a world record. Great. She's broken a world record. And the next one is she eat octopus. She's, She's, She's eaten. eaten. Octopus. Great. We got she's eating octopus. Number eight, they go to Scotland. They have gone to Scotland. 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 Everybody repeat, please. Scotland. 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 So it would be like if we divided the word into two different things, like Scott, and then we say land, Scotland. 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 Let's continue with number nine. 
he live here for three years? He say? has lived here for three years. He has lived here for three years. Okay, the last one is we eat too much chocolate. We have eaten too much chocolate. We have eaten too much chocolate. Okay, do we have any doubts? Any questions? Don't have questions. Okay. Then let's continue by talking about the present perfect in the negative form. So this is the structure that we must follow. First of all, we need a subject. Then we use the auxiliary have or has. Then we have the not for the negative. And then uh, we use the past participle all the time. And after that, we only need a complement. And also remember that we have the the contracted forms have not, well, the contracted form for have not is haven't, and the one for has not is what is the contracted form of, of has not? Hasn't. 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 Exactly. Hasn't. Yes, we got haven't or hasn't. Here I have some examples. The first one is Jason has not been to Iceland. Jason has not been to Iceland, or if we wanted to express it using the contract form, the contract form that would be Jason hasn't, hasn't been mm -hmm. to Iceland. That's correct. Jason hasn't been to Iceland. Next example says they have not played soccer this week. They haven't played soccer this week. Exactly. The contracted form would be they haven't played soccer this week. Next example says she has not traveled to Atlanta. She hasn't, she hasn't traveled to Atlanta. She hasn't traveled to Atlanta. And I believe we'll get another example. Oh no, that will be it. Okay, so how about we make some other examples? Let's see, give me some sentences in the negative form. Think about Mr. some more examples. Tell me. Uh, he hasn't played video games today. He hasn't played video games today. That's a good example. Thanks. Do we have any other example sentences? They haven't eaten Chinese food. They haven't eaten Chinese food. Great. Yes. Any other example? Um, we haven't finished classes. We haven't finished our classes. Okay. Great. He hasn't drunk a coffee. Excellent. One more, please. She hasn't done the homework. Hasn't done the homework. Yes. Very good. So that's the way we make sentences in the negative form using the present perfect. 
now I have some work for you to do. Let me send you to the breakout rooms for a couple of minutes and I want you to use the information I have here, the prompts I have here, in order to make sentences in the negative. For example, over here we got number one, we not go to Paris. What would be the sentence? She haven't gone to Paris. Okay, yes. We say we have not gone to Paris or we haven't gone to Paris. That's what you have to do together with your classmates. Let me send it to the breakout rooms right now. And I'm sending a picture to the WhatsApp group. There you go. Sí, si ustedes quieren podemos hacer así. Estamos en unos cinco minutos. Por separada las repartimos o cómo? O todas. <ríe> Yo decía que todas y después nos comentáramos como una, cada uno, como una, uno cada uno, no sé. Ok. Sí. La segunda iba de último atrás. 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 La segunda Hacen. Me podría enviar eso, que no, no le tomé. ¿Cómo se escribe Hassen? Disculpe. H -A. Hassen, se lo deletreo. Sí, porfa. Eh, H A, -A S sí. N sí. T Bueno, ok. Y también estoy enviando al chat en caso you need to check it. There you go. So you have okay. hasn't and haven't. Haven't. Okay. Entonces, the second is sería he. She's she hasn't. Hasn't. Yes. Con el past participle. The meet. Seen. Seen. Solo le agregamos la N al final. Ok. Sí, my brother. Yes. Uh -huh. De ahí sería. I... He... He hasn't. He hasn't met. 
Met, solo con una E. Cabal. Met. Met, Met my, my mother. Uh -huh. Okay. La cuatro. I haven't. I have. Mm -hmm. I have. Mm -hmm. Have. Pasado de new. No. No. Eh, es lo mismo, oh. solo que al final le agregamos una N. New. No. Ajá. Uh -huh. I haven't known him for the three months. For three months. Ajá. Uh -huh. For three months. Okay. El otro siempre verá. You haven't study. Study. study French for the ten years. Yes. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Sí, el estudio es regular. Entonces ahí sería. Sí, cambia. Ah, cambia y... la Y por la ED, ¿verdad? Sí. No llega por I latina, ED. Ajá. Study it. Pero sin la Y, sino que en lugar de la Y, la I latina. Ajá, sí. ¿Verdad? Y ahí la otra sería lip. Que es el, el lip es irregular. Y entonces el lip es básicamente el, el mismo. Quiero ver. Es, you just need to add D. It's regular. So live becomes lived. Mm -hmm. Live, con D al final. Exactly. Okay. Okay. Oh, wait. There's a little. Um, were you talking about live like um, in a house de, or. De live dejar. Is, no, oh, live that to... one is irregular. You're right. Yeah. So the past participle of live is left. Left. Yes. Okay. So la sería she hasn't she hasn't left her phone in a taxi. That's correct. El siguiente que es Luz es, es lost. That's right. Ah, conté al final, ¿verdad? Conté al final. Ok. Uh -huh. Entonces sería... We have lost our ticket. Our ticket. Y esto dice igual. Esto igual también. En la número 6, live. Sí, es que los verbos participios son los que... Los que más... Sí. sí. Eso creo que son irregulares, por eso es que cambian toda la forma. O sea que estudio no cambia a EB. Al pasado. ¿Cómo? Study, ahí, de estudio. Study. Ajá. Sí, en, ese sí es ED. Es ED, ¿no? Ajá. Ah, okay. Es que los regulares no cambian, solo se les agrega ED y a los irregulares sí se les cambia casi toda la forma. También. Y los sería los, entonces. Ajá, los conté al final. Conté, ¿verdad? No sé si quieres compartirlo entonces. Sí.
Vaya, bueno, la primera, ¿verdad? Yo tengo hasta las siete ahorita, pero ah, dele, si dele, se dele. Ve, interactúan, yo termino. No, oh, dele, dele. Dele un minuto. Sergio, tú estás presentando en la pantalla. No, no, no soy yo. Ah, porque está Ana no, María. Yo, yo estoy. Ah, ok, ok. I'm here in case you have any questions. Yes, teacher. El verbo live, ¿cómo sería en un pasado participio? Oh, the past participle of live is left. Ah, left. Okay. Y de la 10, clean, es clean. A ver. Yes, that one is regular. Okay. Y boy sería bold. But, that's right, by but. but. Meat, si es meat, se mantiene igual. Which one? Meat. De meat. Met. Pero es con doble E o con una E. One E. In the past, it is one E. One E, ok. Vamos por fuera. Now it's time to check. So let's see, number one, we not go to parrots. What would be the sentence? We, we haven't gone to Paris. Gone to Paris. That's correct. We haven't gone to Paris or we have not gone to Paris. Number two. Tell me the sentence, please. She has sat the Lord of the Rings. She has not. What's the past participle of C? Sin. 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 Sin the Lord of the Rings. And also remember, we can say she hasn't seen the Lord of the, the, Lord of the Rings. Mm -hmm. Number three. What's the sentence? He hasn't met my mother. He hasn't met my mother. Number four. I haven't known him for three months. I haven't known him for three months or I have not known him. Next one. Uh, 
What's the sentence? You haven't do you have a study French for three years, for 10 years? You say you haven't studied French for 10 years or you have not studied French for 10 years. Number six. She hasn't left her phone in a taxi. Number seven. We haven't lost our ticket. We haven't lost our tickets. Number eight. Lucy uh, have not done her homework. Okay, we say Lucy have or has. has. Not that, brother. Yes. Lucy hasn't. Has not or hasn't. Has not. Done her homework. Done. Done her homework. Number nine. John, John has them both any food. That's correct. John hasn't bought any food. And the last one. She hasn't cleaned the kitchen. The kitchen. She hasn't cleaned the kitchen. Okay, I need you to repeat after me, please. We're going to practice the past participle of the verbs. So please repeat, go gun. No. Go, go, go. go. See sin. See sin. See sin. sin. Meet met. Meet met. Meet met. No none. No. 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 no, no, no. Study studied. Study study. study. Leave left. Leave, Leave left. left. Lose lost. Lose, lost. Do done. Do done. Do done. Buy but. Buy but. Buy but. Clean cleaned. Clean cleaned. Clean. Clean. Okay, just remember to keep practicing the past participle verbs. We need to learn them by heart. Now, let me tell you a little bit about how to make questions using the present perfect. Well, this is a structure that we are going to follow. It's, first of all, we need the auxiliary have or has. Then we need a subject, then the past participle, and then a complement. And here we do, we do not use a period, but a question mark, right? Here I have some examples. Have you been to London? Have you been to London? And how can we answer this question? What would be the short answers for that? Yes, I have. We may say, yes, I have. Or? No, I haven't. No, I haven't. And then we also have the long answers like, yes, I have been to London or no, I have not been to London or I haven't been to London. Another example I have is, has she practiced any extreme sports? What would be the possible answers for this?
Yes, I have. But it says, yes. has she? Yes. She. Uh, she has. Yes, she have. She, she has. has. Remember we say she has? And we also can say, no, she? She hasn't. 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 That's correct. Another example is, has Mark done his homework? What could be the answers? Yes, yes he has. Yes, yes he, he has. has. Or no? He hasn't. He hasn't. He hasn't. Okay, then I have some practice for you. Let me just check if we have enough time. Okay, so I think we got a couple of minutes. Let's practice by making some questions using the present perfect. Here I have some prompts, some different information that we are going to use in order to make the questions. And we are also going to participate by answering them. Um, for example, let me ask Hector. Hector, have you read War and Peace? Uh, no. No, I, I haven't. You haven't. Okay. Then, Hector, can you ask the second question to one of your classmates? <clears throat> uh, let me check. To Stefan? Yes, tell me. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, have you been for a meeting? Uh, no, I haven't. Okay. Very good. Stephanie, now it's your time to ask. Okay. Mauricio, uh, have you go to Aust have you gone? To Australia? No, I haven't. Okay. Very good. Okay. Mauricio, go ahead and ask the question number four. Edwin, have you missed the, the bus? Um, yes, I have. Very good, Edwin, go ahead with question five. Uh, uh, Rafael Flores. Hola. Uh, uh, how, how you work in this company for 15 years? No, I haven't. Okay, Rafael, now it's your turn to ask. Uh, uh, Sergio. Sergio. Hello. Do yeah, do it. It's the rain all day. Uh, no, has not. No, it has not. That is right. The question is: Has it rained all day? And the answers may be yes, it has, or no, it hasn't. Very good. Go ahead and ask, please. Okay. For Hector, have you a side friend? No, I haven't. Okay, Hector, can you make a question to Ana Maria? 
uh, have you traveled in a plane? Ana Maria? Okay, how about Rafael? Can you answer, please? What answer? Which which answer, teacher? Hector, can you repeat, please? Have you traveled in a plane? No. Oh. Okay, now Rafael, can you make question number nine to Stephanie? Are you in day food? No, I haven't eat, eat them Thai food. Very good, Stephanie, the last question, please. Uh, have you watched a movie this week? To whom, Stephen? Edwin Castro. Okay. Uh, yes, I have. Great. Okay, so that will be all for today's class. Thanks for your attention. Take care and have a good night. Have Thank a good you. night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow.